you have any tattoos on this upper arm? I'm not answering no more questions. What's going on? You're not telling me what's going on. Get me! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Come on, let's go sit over here. You're not, you, are not allowed, you are not free to go, sir. You are not free to go. When a cop stops a person, it means they saw something suspicious or unsettling and would need to inspect into the situation. But what happens when some people do not interact well with the officers and start to use violence against the cops? Let's see some of these peculiar cases starting with. Case 1. On May 13, 2023, Devin Whitmire, a 27-year-old man, was arrested in Asheville, North Carolina by police officers on a warrant for communicating violent threats to his family. Whitmire, who suffers from multiple mental health issues, including hallucinations, was approached by officers in the Erskine-Walton neighborhood. Uh -huh. Is it Whitmire? Devin. What's that? Devin. Devin? Tevin. Tevin. Well, hold on. Do you recognize me? No, sir. Do you um? Do you have ID on you? Because I know you. I know you have a twin. David, forty-one, more Okay. Did you talk to somebody over across from Lee Garden about a couple days ago? Eighteen thirty-seven. No. Do you have ID on you? No. No. Is there any way to verify that you're? That's what I'm saying. I just. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what's the problem? Okay. Is my brother doing something crazy? Okay. You spoke to me cut by about a week ago. Do you remember this? When you pulled me over? I didn't even pull you over. Did you speak to me? Okay. Well, that makes me feel like you're lying to me because I spoke to Kevin. Okay. 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 You don't remember that? When would you speak to my twin if I'm my if you you're, said I'm Tevin? You're Tevin, so you. I'm okay. Tevin. That's what I'm saying. Like what? Like no, no, no. Where, where did you you did you just come today? Yeah, I'm just walking from down there. That's okay. what I'm saying. Like, what's going on? Well, we're trying to find Devin. So he's in Lee Walker Heights, doing all that bullshit. That's why I'm not up there. As long as you're Tevin. I'm yeah, cool. like I'm, I'm not gonna no, lie no, no, to you. No, 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 I'm not gonna fine. lie to you. It's fine. It's not that I'm saying you're lying. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because he ain't even answering his phone at this point. We need to find Devin. That's it. As long once we prove that you are Tevin, then I'm Hello? gonna cut you loose. Okay. Hey, you seen my brother Devin out here? The police talking about he up here. He he. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Come on. I don't need people telling Devin that we're looking for him, okay? Tell you're looking for I don't, Devin? I don't want people to know that, okay? People so don't need, why is somebody stopping me? Because I thought you were Devin. That's why. That's why I'm not here. I'm looking for Devin, not for can Devin. I, can I speak to y'all? Can I speak to y'all, <laughs> whoever, whoever y'all got in charge? Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay, that's um, fine. That's fine. I'm sitting right here. You can. Yes. I'm, I'm right here. Okay, that's fine. That's it. As long as you're Tevin, man, you're cool. I'm, I'm good with that. No, because I need your badge number at this point. Cause I, you see, that's uh, the hospital put credentials. Yeah, 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 I see that. I see okay. that. I just want to make Hello. sure that you're... Out of 26 and 4? Oh, I'm at the top. Despite appearing unarmed in a video taken by his fiance, Whitmire indicated he had a gun and asked officers to back up. A struggle ensued, with officers attempting to restrain him, during which Whitmire initially claimed to be armed but later denied having a weapon. Is there anything to identify you that's not Devin, other than that wristband? Is there anything else that we can use? Yeah, I can. I used to stay right here. Yeah, it doesn't help. I got a meal with my name on it. What, uh, what other tattoos do you have on your what you mean? I have, I have a lot of tattoos. I'm Philippians 413 on my chest. Okay, what else do you have on your arms? John 316, like my twin. Okay, what's on the front there? Why are y'all questioning? I want somebody to come out here. What do you mean you want somebody? I want somebody to come out here. Whoever y'all got in charge, I don't like okay, well, this. Okay, that's me. That's why I'm trying Is this your car, ma'am? Nope. Okay, well, we'll talk to you in a second. It's my fiance, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Do you have any tattoos on this upper arm? I'm not answering no more questions. What's going on? You're not telling me what's going on. Well, right now we think that you possibly got guy that has warrants. Okay. Well, I'm telling so that's you That's why you we're I trying don't. to determine that you're not. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I'm trying to use your tattoos. Because you both have files. And you both have tattoos listed on your files. But that's what I'm saying. I ain't doing nothing. Right. So how long ago did you get the Monique tattoo? Please advise you two white males. Or verbal outside the business. Going off about 10 minutes, what tattoos? You said Philippians was on your chest. No you got John 316 over I'm there. I'm not answering no more questions. I'm a, what's up? All right, so here's what's up. So they're confirming it right now, but based on your tattoos, we know who you are, and you do have an open warrant for your arrest. So if that's confirmed, then you will be taken out of jail.
during the altercation, Whitmire was handcuffed, but the struggle continued as officers attempted to search him. A bystander's video captured an officer using an armbar across Whitmire's neck, which some described as a chokehold, while he lay on the ground. This led to accusations of excessive force by the officers involved. Whitmire was subsequently charged with multiple counts of assault, including assault on a government official inflicting serious injury. Despite Whitmire's mental health issues and his family's attempts to have him involuntarily committed, Officers proceeded with the arrest based on the warrant for communicating threats. You don't know, bitch. We didn't do nothing. Where's the gun at? Where's the gun at? That's what I'm telling you, I got one. I got these. He doesn't I have the whole thing. I ain't got no gun. And if you slam my head on the track, I ain't got Relax, relax. No, 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 relax. Man, I ain't got no gun. That's a swing. You move, let me know. I'm not tripping about it. Is he good? I'm not tripping about it. Where's the gun at? He doesn't have a gun. I tried telling y'all that the first time. Maybe you need to step back some. Stop, relax. Devin, relax. Relax, Devin. Okay. Right, keep it on the side. Yeah, I know. Side is fine. Oh, oh. Relax, Devin. Relax. I got oh, my God. Relax, Devin. You ain't coming up, man. Hurry, you back to chill. <laughs> Hey, he grabbed my d Relax. Grab my d the gun. We're looking for the gun. I told you that. We're not choking him. We're not choking him. Devin, come on, buddy. Stop back. Man, stop back. Stop. All right. I got his legs. Devin, please. Subsequent allegations of excessive force sparked outrage among local residents, leading to calls for transparency and accountability in law enforcement actions. The release of body cam footage by court order aimed to provide clarity on the events surrounding Whitmire's arrest. However, discrepancies between the bystanders' video and police accounts further fueled controversy and debate over the use of force in the situation. If you thought this man was going out and about with his behavior, wait until you see this one here. Case 2. On May 11, 2022, law enforcement officers swiftly responded to a distressing altercation where a male individual was observed physically assaulting a female and attempting to restrain her. Who's, who's on where? Okay, so basically what happened is this girl, she was in like a black t-shirt in the elevator and this guy was trying to like... Step up from here. Okay, and so the guy in there in the UC sweatshirt and such was trying to basically, black sweatshirt, yeah, red. yeah, yeah. Right, what was he doing? He was like trying to grab her. Okay. A guy was leaving. He was trying to grab her. She was yelling. Maybe she was talk, she right. was unhappy. She was like talk. she said, "Help me, help me, help so, me." And so I went over and I butted him. I was like, "Don't, don't touch her. What do you think you're doing? Get away from her." And then he just I got a feeling you guys aren't supposed to be in there. He just came on to me. And basically was like, what are you going to do about it? He was like, what are you going to do about it? And then he came on and hit me. He was hitting me. He took me to the ground. I bit his hand so he would get off. And he got off of me. His hand did you bit? Bite, sorry? His. Okay. His hand. So he assaulted you. He assaulted me as well. He assaulted her and he assaulted me. I need to talk to you, man. You need to come away for a second. Okay. Can you keep your hands out of your pockets for me? 311, I'm gonna have one detained. You wanna tell me what, what happened? Do you wanna tell me what happened? You gonna talk? Come on, let's go sit over here. 
You're not, you are not allowed, you are not free to go, sir. You are not free to go. The other, the other girl, she was punching her as well. Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down! Get down now! Hands on. Send some more officers. Sir, get, get, down. get down! Get down! Get your hands down! Get your hands behind your back right now. Get, get your hands behind your back. I got his arm. Good. All right. Hey, 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 Alright, can we sit you up? Oh, no, it's either or... Can we sit you up? Both of our accounts can do Hey! You're tough. You're not going anywhere. Tell me a little bit more about what happened, okay? I was in the elevator. I'm on, I live on floor five and I was going I was going down the elevator because I was going to go back out after after changing. And he was, he, he was in the elevator with his friend and I go, like, I have the same body as you, like, trying to be nice because, like, why not say that to someone? And then, and then he tried, he, like, grabbed onto the back of me and my shirt and, like, kept pulling me back. He's like, no, you're coming to floor three with me. You're coming to floor three with me. And then I was like, get off of me. Get off of me. Please get off of me. And then he punched me in the face like, I live. I see. I see. Who does that to someone? I completely agree. Okay. Yeah. Stay tight. Yeah. Okay. No? Alright. Mama, behind you. Okay. I'm gonna stand up when we go inside. Alright? You understand what I'm saying? Oh, Alright, we're gonna stay here now. We're gonna stay here now. Upon arrival at the scene, the officers intervene to address the situation and ensure the safety of all involved parties. The male perpetrator was promptly apprehended and taken into custody for further processing. Hitting her, like punching her. Like, you saw him punch yes, her? Yes, I saw him punch How her. How many times did you see him hit her? Like two or three. Two or three times like there was one in the lip, there was one in the head, like grabbing, trying to get her like to squint, you okay. know? And then I was like, to quote, I was like, don't touch her, get the off of her, what the f do you think you're doing? And he looked towards me and he went, like, what the f do you think you're gonna do about it? And he started walking towards me, and that's when he hit me in the head. He hit you as well? He hit me multiple times as well. Okay. He hit me in the head, I got it like an elbow or something, he grabbed me, I tried hitting, just elbowing, hitting, he got me to the ground, he gra was grabbing my face, and at that point I bit his hand. Like, you hard. bit his hand? I okay. bit his hand. Do you know if he broke skin by any chance? I think, yes, because there was blood in my mouth. <laughs> Buddy, you're making this worse. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm not playing with you. Do it. Dude! Nope. No, wait. Come on. Come on. LeBron James. LeBron James. Stop it. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. You tried to. LeBron James. Okay. And he said, okay, okay, stop, stop. And so I like let up a bit because I thought he was going to chill, but he did not. He went, he kept going. He kept going. On and so, you or her? On me. Okay. He, at this point, she had went up the elevator. So you're had not closed. just a witness to this. You're actually a victim in this as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. At this point. <sighs> you're okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. At this point, she, the elevator had closed and she was going I, she was not in the scene after that. I was yelling for the RA. The RA took a couple minutes to come around. And then he was off of me just standing. Sorry. You're okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Just be Just chill. You're all right. Sorry, I say just chill, but... No, I just understand. Take your I understand. Breath. You're all right. Take your time. Yes. And he was just standing there, and he started to try to fight the RA as well for a bit, but the RA was able to, like, get him to calm down. Okay. And at this point, there were probably, like, three guys around. The one in the long sleeve shirt, he had before. I don't know if he got here, but he might be a witness. Okay. And I got... Okay. Just take a deep breath, sweetie. You're okay. Take would you would you feel more comfortable sitting? We can sit over on this brick wall over here. The male tried to bite one of the officers and kept escalating the situation. Hey! Stop that shit! Ah. Oh, oh, oh. You're trying to bite me. No, Superman. 
So probably about to get a pass. Down was on my wrist, and so you know that this fashion. Ah. Ah. During the course of the incident, a witness provided crucial information to the police, detailing the escalating violence. The witness reported that the male suspect not only punched the female victim, but also attempted to bite one of the responding officers, further exacerbating the confrontation. Subsequently, while being transported to the jail for processing, the male suspect exhibited erratic behavior by engaging in rap music. All right, real quick, guys. What did you guys? Wait. Well, never mind. We can't. We can't discuss that. Um, did, you, did you guys see the an assault? I think we saw. You saw the assault. You did? Did you? Oh, I didn't. I just came after this. Okay. After right. the arrest. Are you willing to sign a uh, uh, witness statement? What you saw? Yeah, I can. Uh, okay. We don't need you for anything. Did you see an assault? I just saw him breaking it up at the end. Okay, so you didn't see the, the no, what started the girls. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't think we'll need anything. Either. Okay. I just was we there just to help. Up okay, I don't think we'll need your guys. You three, we probably won't. If you saw the the original altercation, we'll probably just need a witness statement from you. Okay. The guy that we left the elevator out of the two guys, the guy that left, I, this might be his phone. Okay. Thanks. Well, hold on. In fact, I, I think it is because I think I walked in and I said, I remember this now. I walked in and I said, you, hey, your phone's down there. And that's when he left and then that's when like the fighting began. Awesome. We'll hold so. on to his phone then. Perfect. And if he calls for it, we'll come talk. We'll have him talk to us too. I think just him. I'm in love with the emo girl. I'm in love with the emo girl. Spur around in the bushes. Oh, and you know we're doing cushion, smoking on our joint, vado, mushing. Hey, I cut the on my rook in. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, hold on. Uh, put me back in that spring. Hold on. That beat, you know, keep on replaying. I do not stop. But when I stop, do the waiting. Don't do no baiting. Every day that's where I make it, pull them in trading, hold on. I ball hard like man, man it, pull them on your back and I stand it, hand it. That was on my wrist and you know it, fanny. I got flow though, pull them on your walk, you know I got the rose though. And you know I just put the paper hold though. But you hold out loud, but uh, I try, that was on me, you know that I spot, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh. Look at the bad bitch in the ears. Put them on your bucket. That's the grave. Huh. And I didn't ask you. I know you got hit. Did you want to see an ambulance or have an ambulance come check you out? Did you want to go to the hospital at all? I think I'm okay. I just need some water. Okay. When we get back to the station, um, I know we have bottles somewhere. I'm going to be this car over here on the street. Yep. It's probably the only time I ever do it. <laughs> Hopefully. At least it's under good terms. Um, you're welcome to put on your seatbelt. We have this here. And it'll plug in right there. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Good. What'd you use? Um, huh? Um, what have you been using? Um, what have you been using? What'd you take? What'd you take? I had no idea how to open that. I totally so. forgot. They have no lock because it's like a popcorn. Do you like the Grateful Dead? <laughs> um, do you want to pull? There's 
Now what this is, this behavior coupled with his previous actions, led to a series of serious charges being leveled against him. He was charged with assault for physically attacking the female victim, resisting arrest for his confrontational behavior towards the officers, unlawful restraint for attempting to confine the victim against her will, and aggravated assault for the severity of the attack. Hold on to your seats to witness this violent woman who lost it completely. Case 3. On January 20th, 2023, a patrol officer noticed a vehicle swerving and stopped the driver, finding her under the influence. Despite Despite repeated commands, the woman refused to comply, forcing officers to transport her to the police department for processing. It's right on! Use an iPad. Okay. Hello? Hi, ma'am. Can you hang up the phone, ma'am? But I would like it to be recorded because I've had okay. so many interruptions. You are? Okay. You are being audio. You are being audio. Okay. Okay. You are being audio and video recorded. I can't see the lights. Okay. All right. Why don't you step out of the vehicle? No. Yes. No. Yes, ma'am. I need you to step out of the vehicle. I'm not going to. Ma'am, you have to step no, out of the vehicle. I don't have to. You do. Okay. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. All right. Ma'am, roll down the window. Roll down the window. Ma'am, roll down the window. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Ma'am, you can give me the middle finger all you want. I need you to step out of the vehicle, please. Can you hop out of the car for me? The only problem is this window might be reinforced. It should. Those back ones might not be. Yeah. Can you do me a favor and open the door, please? Get me. Get on the ground. 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 You're dead. Get on the ground. You don't. You're right. You don't you dare. Don't you dare bite me. Don't you dare bite me. Here. Yeah. Make up what you want. Due to her intoxicated state and uncooperative behavior, officers had to resort to physical measures, dragging her to the station. Throughout the ordeal, the woman continued to yell and scream at the officers, exhibiting signs of severe intoxication and irrationality. The Do you know what happened to me? Yours? Yes. Do you know what happened to me? I'm serious. I don't. I'm not kidding. I don't There's an open know. police investigation. Ma'am, I don't even know your name. Because you wouldn't give it to me. Yeah. What happened? Then what happened to you? What happened? Here, why don't you get this? Are you afraid of me? I'm not afraid of you at all. Hurts. I'm not afraid of you, but you bit me. My elbows hurt. Yeah. And you bit me twice. Because I'm being arrested and for no cooperate. Where did you, you put the other handcuffs? All of this. What? The other handcuffs. What handcuffs? The, the ones, ones that were on you. They're in your car. How did you get out of them? That's what I'm most impressed Because about. I can not split my hands out. It just hurts. Get it the f off of me. Okay, listen. What we're going to do, okay? You're going to stop. Are you going to cooperate? Gonna give you an extra set of cuffs. Are you gonna just stop? take them off. Not I will okay. take them off. Right, okay. My elbow. Right, we're gonna make them wider for you, okay? It hurts me. No. Lean no, over. it's not okay. Take them off. Just take one off. Please, God. Make it. <laughs> what the? F did I actually do. I stopped you because of how you were driving. No, and then you wouldn't. 
you wouldn't cooperate, and I asked you to step out of the vehicle, and you refused to step out please of the vehicle. Please take it off my arm. You can put it on the desk, please. Please. Which arm? My right arm. I'll tell you what. I'm going to quote. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover Patricia. Alright, I don't want her to be in this pain. She's in this pain. Yeah, I don't want her in pain at all. I don't want her to hurt her elbow. She'll try to get out of them in the car. I'm a black person! Alright, listen. 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 I'm trying to help you. Listen, I'm trying to help you. Then why did you hurt me in the first place? I'm trying to help you. So if you do I that, want to go home. If you do that, you're gonna stay handcuffed the way you are. I'm help. trying to put you more comfortable. She kept shouting and screaming at the cops. Take the other arm off from behind your back. Let me see this arm. Okay. What did I do wrong? I, I what the f did I do wrong? Okay, is that better for you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. I told you. Because uh, when you I, when you refused to get out, <laughs> and then you started giving me the middle finger, and then you kept revving the engine. I don't ever. I'm a mom. Consistently abused the officers and disregarded their instructions. Upon further investigation, it was found that the woman was unlawfully in possession of a weapon, leading to additional charges. Other than your arm, does anything else hurt? I know. You 
you injured my elbow. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yeah. You injured my elbow. Yeah. I'm supposed to support, support my family. My so that's why we need you. To bring you. I don't yeah. care. I don't care. I'll do it. I don't want any help. Leave me the f alone. I'd like for you to consent. No. To what's no. Okay. No. No. No way. No way. No way. No way. No. I'll sit here for five weeks. No way. I know some cops are good. I have a friend Richie. I have my nephew Mitchell, who are police, state police. I'm sorry. If this is not what you guys want to do. I I don't know. But them. I don't know who you're on your size with, but I don't hate cops. I hate being told what to do. I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna comply and you can kiss my ass. I'm not doing it. I didn't do anything wrong. I tried to go see my friend and do a benefit. I went to a benefit dinner and I tried to go over the bridge to go home. I just want to get up at four o'clock in the morning and go to the work. I'm not. I hate you people. Let her get her little rocks off. It's all right. I know what I'm, I know what she looks like. I'll see her. I'll meet her someday. I'll see her out. It's all right. I'll hold my pee for two weeks. I'll give a you. I've been taking care of people. I've been taking care of seniors. And it, I'm not, I don't hate you. I can see you. Right, and you can either. be discluded. And I see you. And you, you just know what's going on here. I work my off every day for my kids. I hope that brought in hell. And I know she will. I know she will. And you can know that too. It's not your fault. I ran over a curb because I was parked on it because I was trying to keep my mirrors out of the road. I'm just going to go in your wallet to get your ID. I don't give a f what you do. She continued to abuse the female officer while she was reading her the Miranda rights. Ultimately, she was charged with DUI, obstruction of justice, resisting arrest, aggravated assault on a peace officer, unlawful weapon possession, and making threats. I mean, you could read them all do you, night. I don't do you care. understand these rights? I understand what they are, but I don't give a f about you.